Hello guys, this is Clint Lockler from Wolfer Nation and I want to answer a question. I'm going to try to do these a little more periodically uh, just so uh, more guys, because I'm sure a lot of guys have questions like this. And this is from RK and I'm going to respond to your email let you know it's going to be on YouTube when it is. And it said, would a relaxing lock on a snare be a guaranteed way to catch coyotes and dogs or could the uh, snare kink thus choking a dog? What did your dog Daisy do? So I, I think really what the main question of this is, is will a relaxing lock hurt a dog if you accidentally catch a dog? I believe that's what the question is. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have snared for 20 years. We live in a state. I've been to states where snaring is wide open. We don't have cable restraints. We don't have braking breakaways, we don't have to use relaxing locks, we don't have to use any of that, and never, and, and I'm being, this is an absolute so far, I have never hurt a domestic dog with a snare, never. The only time I would be very nervous of that is setting a fence up with a relaxing lock or a killing lock where there's dogs around, and the, the snare could go over the fence and, and it, could, it could hang the dog. See, that's a, that's a trapper's issue, not the, the lock or the snare issue. Where I live in Tennessee, everybody's got dogs running around. It doesn't matter where you go, you're going to find dogs. The reason I like using snares a lot of times is if someone's dog's running through an area and I'm doing either predator work or I'm just doing fur trapping, I catch their dog and I'm not using relaxing locks. I'm using slim locks or, or BMI minis or cam locks or anything like that. I'm not worried about dogs because I've never hurt a dog. The only, the closest I've ever got, and I'm just being open and honest, is there was a great Pyrenees one time that I don't know how he fit his head inside the lock and he fought it because he's like this big bear. And when I came up to him, he couldn't breathe as easy and I just cut the lock off of him, got away from him and he went about his business. But I, I've, just because I trap so much in the South, I've caught all kinds of dogs and snares. And I like it because I can, I can uh, put a catch pole on the dog if he's not acting real friendly. I can cut the cable. I can, I, he just goes home. The landowner doesn't know he's caught. There's, their dog's not hurt at all. There's no blood. There's no cutting. All that stuff that you hear from the antis, it's just absolutely hogwash. And, no one knows that the dog is like no harm, no foul. You reset the snare back. I've had dogs get caught in the same snare five, six days in a row to the point where we're almost like buddies. He's like wagging his tail when I come up. He doesn't know that I'm setting the snare. There's no damage whatsoever, and it catches him. Could it kink behind a relaxing lock? Yes, it could. Anything could happen. There's nothing 100% when it comes to catching animals. And he's asking about Daisy. Now, Daisy, uh, I got, uh, she's gone now, but uh, she started on a snare line when she was six months old. Uh, she was caught dozens of times the very first day in snares, and she didn't fight the snare. She did a little bit the first time. She realized what was going on when I let her out. Uh, after about six months of that, she couldn't catch her in snare. She knew what it was, but it never hurt her. And she, and it was just uh, like a leash. You know, I'm not going to say it's just like a leash, but it's kind of like a leash on a dog. Wild dogs are going to act like coyotes. Domestic dogs that have been on a leash are going to think that somehow their owner put them on a leash and they just kind of sit there. They'll whine and complain and, and everything, but you're not having to worry about that really choking down, especially with a relaxing lock on that. If you're worried about dogs, and this is a, as a issue that you're worried about because you, until you get a lot of experience, you're, you're not going to probably believe me on that, which is fine. Don't set the snares up where you have a lot of entanglement. If you take the entanglement part away, it's really hard for the cable to kink. So you don't have anything to kink the cable. If it's just in high grass or anything like that, you can just roll with it that way. As far as worrying about dogs and snares, it's really a non-issue. It's more in people's heads than it is in reality. Talk to anybody that snared a lot and they'll tell you the same thing. So I hope that helped you out, man. Uh, you know, nothing's 100%.
but it's if uh, it'll definitely hold a cow it'll hold a dog you just release the dog it's it's probably one step above catching a dog in a cage trap that's about what happens it's it's not that big of a deal a domestic dog a feral dog is going to act like a coyote and he's going to test the cable a whole lot more so just keep that in mind but i hope that helps you out